Hello, and welcome to part 3 of our STM32 Trust video series about TFM. In this video, we will go through all the tools needed to run the TFM solution on your device. This graph shows the firmware, software, and hardware tools needed to test the TFM solution. The first one is the STM32Cube L5 package that contains the source code. Please refer to part 2 of this video series for the instructions on how to download it and a review of its content. In terms of compiler, any of the compatible toolchain mentioned in the release notes, IR, Kyle, and stm 32 cubeide are an option. In this case, we are going to use stm 32 cubeide that you can download from st.com. Searching for stm 32 cubeide in the search bar and clicking on the link, you will be redirected to the landing page, where you will find all the relevant information. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, you will find the Get Software section, where you will be able to download the versions for your operating system. In this case, we will download the version for Windows. The page includes also a documentation tab that provides access to the relevant application notes and user manuals. All of these documents could be very useful during your developments. Another tool that we will need is the stm 32 q Programmer, a software tool for programming STM32 products that can be downloaded from st.com as well. Similarly to what we did for stm 32 cubeid the link to the landing page can be found typing stm 32 Programmer in the search bar. In here, you will find all the relevant information and description of the features of the tool. Scrolling down, you will find the Get Software section, where you will find the latest version and you will be able to download the package for your operating system. Also in this case, going back to the Documentation tab, you will see a list of application notes and user manuals that we would recommend you to review for your developments. You will also need a terminal emulator of your choice, and in this video we will use TerraTerm. In terms of hardware instead, as mentioned in the Getting Started video, the TFM application we are considering was developed for the STM32L562 Discovery Kit. You will need one of these boards together with a micro USB cable for the out-of-the-box walkthrough. You can find all the relevant information on the board from the Discovery Kit landing page on st.com. Looking for the part number, you will be redirected here, where you will find the overview of the product and a description of all its features. In addition, also in this case, you can refer to the documentation tab to find all the relevant information and application notes and user manuals. In particular, we would recommend you to explore the UM2617 Discovery Kit user manual that includes all the details about the board. Going back to the landing page, you can find other useful resources in the CAD Resources tab. Here are listed all the hardware related information, such as the board manufacturing specification, bill of materials, and schematic. Opening the schematic, you will have access to all the hardware details of the board, including pin assignment, connector specification, and so on. Finally, we would recommend to have the user manual 2671 and the application node 5447 available during your developments for your reference. This concludes part 3. Thanks for your attention. I'm looking forward to see you in part 4, where we will compile, install, and run the TFM code. Don't forget to check out st.com slash stm32trust for further information.